All right, folks, today I'm going to show you how to cook these awesome looking Pluma barbecue crowd wraps. And I made this one at German Championship for my viewers, so stay tuned. It's time to grill. So first step is cutting onions. Take a medium sized yellow onion, cut it in half and then we're cutting rings. That's pretty easy. I won't bother you too long so I speed it up a little bit. As I mentioned in the beginning this is a dish I cooked for my viewers at German Championship in Fulda uh, which is several weeks ago. So I was there for a meet and greet and it was uh, possible to meet me there and I decided to cook something for my viewers and the guests who visited me. So this one is the meat we are preparing today. This one is a piece of pork. This is a special cut. We have several special cuts right now in Germany for the pork. This one is called Pluma and there are two more um, you might know. The other one is called Presa and the third one is called Secreto. And this is basically a shoulder or neck in a special way of cutting it. And this is high quality. This is Duroc pork. I have one in my fridge as well from um, the Spanish one, Iberico, you might have heard about that uh, wherever you are located. A lot of people were um, uh, complaining about that I only think you are in the US. Okay, of course I know not everyone is coming from the US, so apologies uh, from me today. Um, wherever you are looking for and listen to the English uh, version, I'm glad you are there. Thanks for watching. So let's get keep going. Let's keep going with the recipe here. We take our cast iron pan and we put this on the cooking um, plate of my Broiking Imperial. And we have pre preheated the pan a little bit, but we uh, throw the onions in there um, in an early stage, so the um, it's not very hot. This helps the onions uh, keep their uh, sweetness. So we're gonna heat it up together with a pan and the oil. And after um, they l start getting soft, we're gonna put in some soy sauce here. So this is approximately 100 to 120 milliliters of soy sauce. And then next step is we're gonna add some sauerkraut. So in Germany, there's a convenience product that is called barbecue kraut. And it's basically like kind of a mixture of German sauerkraut mixed with barbecue sauce. So this is uh, pretty easy to do by yourself. So I decided to um, show you today. And that's basically the onions, the soy sauce, the um, the barbecue kraut, uh, the r original sauerkraut you can buy in Germany in every grocery store. And we're going to mix this one. And after we have mixed this and cooked that for approximately five to seven minutes, we're going to add some barbecue sauce. And that's all you have to do. That's so easy. And of course you can add some salt and you can also add some garlic in the beginning but I'm not too fancy here today so this one is quick and easy just onions soy sauce kraut and barbecue sauce and if you ask me that's all you need so we're gonna mix this again and cook it for another five till seven minutes and then we are ready to go and grill the pluma So we have preheated also the uh, Imperial, the first two burners are completely power on and we're gonna throw it on and let it grow there on direct heat for approximately, I don't know, exactly four to five minutes per side or so until it has a nice um, color. And there you go, now there's something happening that didn't uh, happen for a longer time gas bottle starts getting empty so the power uh, is losing we're gonna take the shot here and see there are some last flames but that's the moment um, my gas bottle went off so i had to switch it of course i have some more gas bottles in my garden but of course the effect of giving this uh, high temperature in the beginning is gone so um this uh, video is, uh, shows that I'm human as well so we're gonna grill this one as you can see here with high heat and then we're gonna switch switch it over to indirect heat we're gonna close the lid and we're gonna grill this one until it has an internal internal temperature of 58 degrees Celsius which is not um, cooked completely 
I believe in uh, high quality pork doesn't have to be killed twice and so for today as well with the pluma as you can see here, it's a little bit pink inside but that's the way I like it so if you're not too much into high quality pork and um, eating this pink just cook it some more now we're gonna get started with building the wraps we're gonna get started with sriracha that's one of my favorite uh, hot sauce it's a little bit hot it has a lot of garlic in there and which is completely great for this dish four slices of pluma some of that barbecue crowd and now we're going to add some creme fraiche here so this is cream fresh heavy cream uh, what's i don't know what the exact translation is if i'm completely wrong write it into the comments i appreciate that for further upcoming videos and then we're going to add some jack and smoke seasoning uh, which basically consists of smoked salt and whiskey pepper and then we're going to roll the wrap and then we are almost ready to eat this one so we're going to cut and see how we did in, at the, in the inside and if you ask me this already looks very very delicious so this is really really interesting because it's a little bit hot with the hot sauce it's uh, cold and it's warm and it's really great um, opposite it, a lot of opposite uh, here in this dish so again I show you how to roll this one we're gonna cut and then I'm gonna show you the result again so this is this is the second one I made and this is my uh, plate right now I made two of these of course I have some left over for the barbecue crowd but I will show you on Saturday what I did with that one enjoy the original footage I'm gonna give this a try right now thank you <clears throat> All right, folks, I decided to record the last piece inside. Um, the wasp of uh, uh, the wasps, do we say something like that? There's so much flying around outside right now in Germany. It's not fun to do. So I decided to come inside and uh, talk about you about that dish. I'm gonna give this a shot right now. For all of my German viewers who have been visiting me at the German Championship, that's the dish I was schooling for all my visitors and all my friends. So I would like to thank everyone who was there and is supporting my work over the last seven years right now. We are almost close to 40,000 subscribers, which is really cool. I never thought that someone would like my videos. So that's kind of cool. So if you haven't subscribed to Old 15 Barbecue yet, you should do it now by clicking on the logo on the left side of the screen. It's free but you will get a lot of interesting grill entertainment, I promise. So I'm going to give this a shot right now. These are kind of cool because there is a mixture of cold and warm, of um, hot and not hot. Really, really cool. So it seems like there was an issue with the automatic focus. I hope you don't mind. I'm gonna give this a shot right now. It's kind of cool, I hope you get it. Um, sauerkraut should be known to m most of my non-German viewers as well. This one is kind of special. I hope you're gonna give this a shot. Please comment if you want to give this a shot and you have more ideas to come. And um, hit that like button, of course, the like button. Okay, I'm gonna give this a shot right now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you. Mm. <laughs> mm. 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 